Hi friends, my name is JP Rainsford with Rainsford Photography. My husband and I are wedding photographers in Greenville, South Carolina, and here on our channel, we are all about instilling confidence in you, the wedding photographer. And what I'm gonna walk you through today is from the moment a bride inquires with us all the way to the delivery of her final gallery. Um, sorry, I can't keep going with this video. This room is a mess, I've got to clean up. and. Just bear with me. So like I was saying, you have to have a workflow, mainly because our life is so chaotic that there is no way that you could give every single person what they need on time and give them the best experience possible. And Round and I are a family-run company, which means that we do everything. And to top it off, it's all in our home. We have two kids, and as you can see, we have tons of stuff going on around us all the time. I didn't even move that pile of laundry. I'm gonna let that stay there. So a workflow allows for us to ensure that we give every single bride and groom the best experience possible. I know that a lot of photographers have this problem. You're booking 15, 20, 25, 30 weddings, and you're like, where am I in every single bride? Did they get their bridal guide? Did, did I schedule that engagement session? Has that person paid their down deposit? Well, come along today and I'm going to show you exactly what we do. So hopefully you can create a workflow of your own and have confidence as you are booking and photographing weddings. is your bride is gonna say, I'm ready to book with you, what are our next steps? Good question. The first thing that we do in our workflow is send our bride and groom a contract. Once we know that they have signed their contract, here are the next few steps that our bride and groom will take. They will pay their deposit, they'll schedule their engagement session, and they'll receive their bridal guide. And all of those things are laid out in our workflow so that I get a reminder when I step into the office that those things are due. So when I look back, I can see exactly who's paid their deposit, who has their bridal guide, and who's waiting to confirm their engagement session. So your bride has paid their down deposit, they've received their bridal guide, they've had an incredible engagement session with you, what comes next? For us, we have a couple different forms that we send our girls to make sure that we get to know them and that we have all of their details straight for the wedding day. And these forms really help us as we do a couple different things. First, when I help make our girls' photography timeline, I need to know exactly what's happening on their wedding day. I also need to know all the information from all of their vendors so in case I have any questions, I can contact them directly. So I have to push those forms to them, but don't worry, that's actually automated, which is one of the things I love so much about the CRM, because that gives our girls a chance to fill out those detail forms as they're planning their wedding. So every time they put in information, I get a notification from Dubsado that a form has been updated, which helps me immensely. So it's time to do our photography timeline. That happens about three months out from the wedding date and send it to the coordinator to make sure that everyone is on the same page. Now it's time to prepare for the wedding day. So here are all the things that are in our workflow for the day of a wedding. We need to charge our batteries. We need to clear our cards. We need to clean our lenses and our bodies. We need to pack all of the things that are non-essential camera gear, which you can watch in this video. And we need to make sure that we've printed our schedules and we have everything ready to go. So all of that is actually checked off in our workflow so that every single wedding day, we can ensure that we have everything we need. Now, a few things post-wedding day, because your workflow doesn't stop the minute that your bride and groom say, I do. You still have a lot of things to do once they've gotten married. So when we come home, we load all of our cards, and then we create a vendor and a preview gallery. And that's part of our workflow, is to send the preview gallery and the vendor gallery, both to our couple and to all the vendors that we work with. 
Then the last few things in our workflow. We send the final gallery, we send our final package, and finally, we send a questionnaire to each bride and groom asking them, how did we do? And it's just a really great way for us to get a pulse on their wedding experience with us and see if there's anything that we need to change for a future bride and groom. So a few pro tips for you, because it's taken us a while to actually refine our workflow and get it to the point where we love it and we don't feel like a slave to our workflow. So first things first, just start with the things that you have to deliver to your client and then go back in and put in the steps that will allow for you to get there. So an example of this would be that our bride and grooms needs to schedule an engagement session with us. So we have a reminder that gets emailed to us through Dubsado that says, two weeks after the bride and groom has paid their down deposit, schedule the engagement session. Plain and simple as that. We don't have to have a ton of dings coming to us, reminders where exactly they are in their workflow. Just two weeks afterwards, schedule their engagement session. Okay, so my last pro tip for you. I highly encourage you to invest in a CRM. But what does CRM stand for again? Customer Relationship Manager. Good thing Rylan's here. Cu cu customer? Or is it client? Customer. Customer relationship management. I don't know. It's just the thing that keeps us in line because we have so much going on and it keeps our deadlines on time and ensures that we're giving every person the best experience possible. Now I know our companies are really expensive and there's a lot of things that we pay for. I get that. Running a business is a lot of work and there's a lot of things to do in it. And the last thing that you want to do is to have your couple not get something that they need on time and to have it look bad on you. So invest in a CRM, make sure that you import your workflow into it and have it be automated so that you know exactly where they're at in their workflow at all times. I really hope that this has been helpful, that it's given you a template for creating your own workflow. If you have any questions about our workflow or maybe something that you didn't feel like I explained well enough, please leave a comment below. I would love to answer some more of this for you. I'd love for you to let us know what you enjoyed about this video or other questions that you have about a workflow or just anything wedding photography related. If you're already using a CRM for your client workflow, would you please leave us a comment below letting us know which company you're using and why so that we can all be learning together. Please subscribe and we hope to see you again soon.